Hi guys, it's Jen here and today I'm going to walk you through uh, my process for studying Arcane's art style. Now if you haven't seen Arcane yet on Netflix, I highly recommend it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, the, the visual effects are, are just stunning and the art style is super cool. Um, I always like that painterly effect, um, but when it's combined with like a 3D effect, it's it's even more like mind blowing. Um, so I, you know, watched it the other night and I, I was hooked and I watched the whole thing all the way through and then I decided I needed to learn how to replicate it. So um, I sat down the other day and uh, just took a screenshot um, and decided I was going to try to draw it. So I started with a rough sketch, and as you can see, it took me a few tries. If you ever have one of those nights where you just can't quite get it, um, I have those sometimes, and the easiest thing for me to do is to just give it a try and then walk away and come back later, and I find that, oh, everything just makes sense. Um, another thing you can do uh, to check your drawings um, for accuracy is to flip the canvas. Um, so I flipped the canvas multiple times to try to get it right. And it took me a, a few redos, but eventually I got where I was happy with the drawing. So once I had the sketch in place, uh, I started to figure out where the general planes of the face were. Um, I decided, I started, I, as you can see, I started to do a, a color sketch, but then I decided, no, I'll just stick with values for now. And it, it does really help. Uh, I highly recommend uh, starting with value sketches, especially when you're first starting out to try to make sure that your values are correct. Um, and then you can color over it later. Um, it's not always the way I do everything, but today I decided that that's, that's how I would do it. Just, just to get, uh, because really what I was looking for is how to get the, uh, the blending of the line of the, uh, shading, um, and getting the planes of the face, right. Um, so as you can see here, I'm, putting in the shadows, a few of the shadows, um, and really just trying to define those, those uh, planes of the face um, because they're really heavy in the show. They're very obvious, and I kind of like that. Um, maybe a little harsher than I would normally go, but um, it really works.
Now, one of the difficulties of starting with a grayscale value and then adding color is that you'll see um, it's difficult to get quite the same vibrance of color in your shadows. Um, so when I do an overlay, um, it, it start, it's the, the shadows stay a little bit gray. So what I did was I came back through with a, a warmer tone for the shadows and uh, adjusted um, the warmth of them. And towards the end, once I was happy with the general colors, um, I smushed it all back down again and then went over a few areas with uh, a normal setting um, to try to adjust the colors manually. And this concludes my art study of Arcane. Um, if you liked it, please like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment below. Thanks!